<clears throat> Good evening and salutations, my Deja Village fans. You know, I wasn't too sure about doing a um, review because of how little time I actually had today. Um, between working a little bit late, doing a one review on GH and trying to do a live stream, but I could not hold this inside any longer. Um, and I didn't feel like waiting until I did a live stream. I was like, you know what, let's just do this now. Tate, honestly, tell you the truth, you can rot in jail. You can rot in jail for who I care. Um, I don't think that jail was probably a way to go um, because of what wound up happening, but that you can rot in juvie, okay? That, I, I cannot believe, <laughs> let me tell you something. I don't use the term brat very often to describe children, no matter how annoying that they, um, Jesus Christ, you're gonna wait. Um, but, he definitely did act very bratish. Um, oh, telling his parents, oh, you should have fought harder for me, you know. And at first he says, well, I could actually go to Salem to get transferred there, but I'm not going to. Okay, then you're just a dick then. Like, why would you even sit there and do that to your parents? I get that he's angry and he's frustrated and he's lashing out, but to be honest, I really don't give a damn at this point. I really don't. There's two people so far that is really pissing me off, okay? One of them is Tate, and the other one is Jada, who's acting like a goddamn Karen, because I know she wasn't on today, but let's just be very clear about something. He cheated on you, you divorced him, he doesn't owe you anything, okay? He does not owe you a goddamn thing. It's been years. Seek therapy if you're having that much issues. The fact that she sat there and, and was so unprofessional with that interrogation was just like, are you serious? Anyway, I just wanted to get that off my chest. Um, so, I was about to call him Ben. Alex bumps into Kristen and he calls her ma'am. And I'm like, yo, listen, first of all, Krista can still get it, okay? Then I'm just like, bro, how old does she look to you? That girl's, that girl's still working it out. Anyway, they get to talking about Brady and, and, and Teresa and everything like that. And eventually, they wind up going over to the house. And Alex is telling Teresa, well, you know, eventually we got to sit there and talk at some point. I'm like, no, she doesn't. And that's exactly what Brady says. They get a call from that stupid kid, that stupid teenager, and after him talking to um, Justin, you know, he, he was just like, yeah, you know, I guess it's kind of lame, me not seeing them, so he was like, yeah, whatever. And you got Brady and Teresa practically kissing this kid's ass, and I'm like, what kind of acidine ish is that? Your parents, his parents are literally kissing up to... It just made me so pissed off. Um, Holly wakes up, but she doesn't really remember much. She is missing time. She thinks that the party ended yesterday. That was months ago. So Sarah eventually gets over there after talking to Chad and just tells her just to take it slow. Um, they're starting on a slow diet and this, that, and the third, but she does wake up, right? Um... EJ and Nicole are sleeping and, you know, they have a baby monitor for her and Holly wakes up, she starts coughing and EJ's like, yo, you good? You want me to give you something to drink? They realize this is what you call this. It's Holly, so they rush in there. They're both happy. I'm not going to lie. This whole stepdaughter thing with EJ, I, I'm just like, where is this coming from? I mean, I know I haven't been watching the show that long, but I don't remember him having that much of a relationship with, with, with Holly. You know, not up until the point where he, once again, I think, oh, maybe this was yesterday. Oh, this is all Tate's fault and da 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 Which, by the way, Tate, you're an idiot. I just want to sit there and point that out. You're an idiot. You are an absolute moron. You took some stuff knowing that the cops could search you. You put yourself in that situation. Besides what happened to him in jail, I don't feel bad for you. You did that to yourself. You're an idiot. 
Um, I just wanted to point that out. Uh, Chad winds up seeing Stephanie. I hate myself for saying this. She did look kind of good. That that woman looked good. I <laughs> don't get me wrong. She annoys the hell out of me, right? But I don't know how how they managed to the one up dressing this woman looking so damn good. But it's like you really irritate the living life out of me. But god damn it, that woman looks good. Anyway, they get to talking. They wind up going over to the Horton's house. Um. They see the chair that didn't get burnt or ash on it or dirt or anything. Um, and they talk about the ornaments that they saved and everything. And, um, you know, Chad talks about the threat that pretty much is like, next time you'll listen. Next time you will sit there and do as you're told. And also finds out from AJ that uh, Holly's awake. I like their 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 brother their brother relationship. You know, I, I really thought it was a really good moment when Abby died and, and EJ was just you know he was there for him. You know, um, EJ is a very complex character, and I do think what he's doing to Tate is just being extremely extra dickish. Especially the stuff he said about Brady and, and, and Teresa. And they may not even be my favorite characters, but the stuff he was in was way out of pocket. Um, um, was way out of pocket. Anyway, Sarah comes over, talks to EJ, you know, after checking out Holly and, you know, was talking to Chad and it's like, yo, I don't think he did it. I don't think, I don't think he did it. And talk to EJ, it's like, yeah, listen. Because EJ was like, thank you, given what's going on, I appreciate you doing this. And, you know, Sarah's like, listen, um, he didn't do it. The problem is, EJ's like, yeah, what the evidence says something different, you know? Yeah, he has a reason to come after Xander, but it don't look good for Xander. With Tate, it's like he's being extra with Tate, you know? Um, I feel like that's about it. I can't think of anything else. So what I'm going to sit there and do is I'm going to put out this review so you can watch it. If you want to come to the live stream tonight, we can sit there and talk more about it because I'm pretty sure I probably missed a couple of things here or there. But that's the general gist of it. With that being said, I'm going to go. I'll see you in the next video.